This is amazing. Now we're going to see how you can create instant rack chatbot using AI. This also includes fine tuning plus rack together. In this, we'll be seeing about basics of rag, fine tuning, the difference between rag and fine tuning, when to use what, and how to get the most out of your large language models, what is happening behind the scenes in regards to rag, fine tuning, and the hybrid approach that is merging fine tuning and rag together. All this is simplified by using Chat LLM for Teams, a simplified solution with no code. In this, I have partnered with Abacus AI to create this video. You should be able to create this chatbot from Abacus AI Chat LLM interface just for $10 per user. Click the link in the description to sign up. So how to combine this fine tuning and rag together? Just sign up first. After that, once after you log in, at the top, you can see there is AI engineer create custom chatbot. Click on that. Then you'll be presented with the information like this. I'm going to name it as Mervyn Prison Chatbot. And it's asking, do you want the bot to search your custom data? I'm going to choose yes, then clicking next. Now it's asking if I want to upload any data, I can just upload by clicking this or I can even drag the file here. So I'm going to choose one file, clicking that file and clicking open. Now next, I'm going to give some instruction and how the bot should look like. I'm just saying I want a chatbot which looks at the relevant snippets from my document and respond to my questions. You can even modify this based on your requirements. After this, click finish. Now you can see all the manual things which we need to do, it's completely taken care of. Now based on this requirement and the uploaded file, first it's going to convert the file to embeddings and store that in a vector database. As you can see here, the uploaded data now automatically gets stored in the database. As you can see first, it is automatically writing the code to convert the document to embeddings saving that in vector database and setting up document retriever to retrieve documents if required. So that is the rack step. Then it is training the model. It wrote the code and automatically it started training. You can now see the model training is completed. Then final step, it's automatically deploying the model. Finished creating the deployment. And finally, I got the chatbot available in this location. And if I want to modify that further, I can click this link and edit the chatbot. And while editing, you can see, you can use multiple large language model based on your preference. You should be able to add more data and retrain your model. Even if you have any questions, you can ask the chatbot available here. So I'm going to click this link and here is the chatbot. Welcome to Mervin Present Chatbot. Now you are able to ask any questions which is capable of answering in a hybrid way because we are using fine tuning and rag together. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you how you can create instant rag chatbot. What is fine tuning and rag and why we need that together. So without a rag or fine tuning, when you ask any information more specific about your company or about your private data, like tell me about my company. If I ask that question, the AI is going to respond, I don't know. But using rag, when you ask the same question, tell me, about my company, it's going to search the vector database. Then from the vector database, it's going to get relevant information as context. So this database will contains information about your company. Then that relevant information, that is the unstructured information is sent to the AI and then it is able to respond. Your company is working on simplifying AI. That is a rag process using the existing information as context for the large language model. So in regards to fine tuning, again, if I ask the same question, tell me about my company, it's going to respond. Your company is working on simplifying AI, a direct response. So what is the difference between rag and fine tuning? And when do we need rag and when do we need fine tuning? So in this diagram, we can see when do we need rag and when do we need fine tuning? Imagine you have a database which is external and it is not readily available. It is dynamic data. That's when we need a rag. As an example, it is a QA system, question and answering. So when do we need fine tuning? When you change the type of response you get from the model, that is behavior, your company writing style and the vocabulary. Also, if you have any data you want to feed in. During that time, you teach the large language model how to respond when you ask a question. As an example, we use summarization. So here is the hybrid approach where we combine fine tuning and rag together 
This is a more efficient way if you're planning to create a customer support automation or a chatbot. Is there any way to simplify this process without worrying more about the terminology rag and fine tuning a model? There is a solution. That's when we use Abacus AI Chat LLM for Teams. I really like this article in regards to the difference between rag and fine tuning. It clearly explains the difference. We saw a top level view of what is rag. So under the hood, what's happening behind the scenes? Here is the user asking a question to the QA system. The QA system searches for relevant information in the database. That could be your organization specific or domain specific data set. Then those relevant information is sent to the large language model as context. Then the large language model or the AI is going to send a response back. And that's how the user gets the correct answer. That is RAG behind the scenes. So what is fine tuning? We should prepare a model or teach a model beforehand about the organization or domain specific data. So here, when the user asks a question, immediately it's going to get respond with all the knowledge it learned. That is fine tuning behind the scenes. Ultimately, we need to combine this RAG system and the fine tuning system together to get much more accurate answer. How to get the most out of large language models. When we consider complexity, cost and quality, the more we go right, the complexity is going to increase, the cost is going to increase and the quality is going to increase. So the easiest way to get a high quality response is by prompt engineering. But if you want to increase the quality, then you go with the rag. Then again, if you want to increase the quality, go for fine tuning and then finally train from scratch. But the key thing is that what if we merge everything together? That's when we can have a high quality response from a large language model. And as you can see here, RAG has certain benefit, such as it minimizes hallucination, it allows dynamic data, you are able to read from an external knowledge base. But in regards to fine tuning, comparatively it has more hallucination than a RAG application. You are able to change model behavior in fine tuning. Ultimate goal is to merge both RAG and fine tuning and get the best of both the worlds but without any code, with a no code solution. That's when we have Abacus AI engineer who is capable of creating a custom chatbot with the data, both as a rag and also fine tuning the model, all taken care of at the back end. You just give instruction to this AI engineer. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.